Hey guys, I hope you are all safe and feeling at least somewhat upbeat in the grand scheme of things. It is March 2020 and no, it's actually April 2020 now. And so I'm sure you're aware of what's going on out there. I'm not going to harp on it, but there is a pretty good chance you're probably at home looking for things to do. And so what I am going to show you to do today is I'm going to show you how to use Windows 10 free video editing software. So if you've made a video and maybe you've made a couple of videos, maybe like one video and um, let's just say like a doodly, you know, whiteboard animation or explainer video, maybe you want to add that to a tutorial and maybe throw say like a video outro or something to that effect and take all these videos and kind of put them together using a free and easy program. Um, this is the video for you. I am going to show you how to trim them from the beginning, trim them at the end, trim them in the middle. I'm even going to show you how to add some text into your video if that's something you want to do. And this again is for Windows users using Windows 10 video editor. So guys, if you are using a Mac, I'm sorry, this won't be the video for you. I'll just get that out of the way right now. All right, I'm gonna save any other babbling until the end of the video and um, we're just gonna get started and you're welcome. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to hit the start button and scroll all the way down till we hit video editor. Okay. So what you would normally do is you would normally start a new project. So you would hit this button and then it would bring up a screen and it would give you the option to name your project. So you would go ahead and name your video and then you would start to bring them in, okay? So in this case, I went ahead and took the liberty of uploading a couple of videos that I am going to work with today anyway. So this is what I'm doing. So right off the bat, if you want to take a couple videos and put them together to make one longer video to connect them, this is what you do. You make sure they're clicked, place them in the storyboard. You can move them around if you need to, okay? But in this case, I have them as I would have them in the one video, okay? So they are technically in order, but that's how you can move them. You would just click them and drag them around, okay? And in this case, what you would do, you've got five minutes and 23 seconds there and approximately 20 seconds there. So as you can see, the end result here is going to be the two videos together. All right, so easy as that, guys. You bring your videos in, you place them in the storyboard. You can go ahead and preview it if you want, and then you would simply click Finish Video. You would choose your quality, and then you would export it. Okay, that's it. So. How do you trim them? Let's go ahead. We'll start with trimming at the beginning and trimming at the end. So we'll go ahead and click this and I'm going to hit trim. So in this case, if I wanted to trim, say a couple seconds at the end, I would simply drag this cursor over to where I want it. So let's just say I want to stop it, I don't know, right there, okay? I would take the end of the trim, you click on it and you would drag it to where this cursor is, okay? So now the end of your video is officially trimmed. If you wanted to also trim, I don't know, maybe a few seconds of redundancy out of the very beginning of your video, then you would find where it is, all right? You can simply just play your video and play it until you find where you wanna trim it. You'd keep your cursor there and you would bring the beginning, the start of your trim to meet the cursor. And so now in between these two cursors is the length of your new video. You would click done, okay? So this change has now been reflected here. And as you can see, it was about five minutes and you know the whole duration was like five minutes and 40 something seconds before. Now, as you can see, it's been trimmed, all right? What happens if you want to trim something in the middle? What you would do, if it's the same video, okay, you would keep it clicked and you would hit split. What you would do here, let's just say, I don't know, you've realized that, I don't know, a minute and nine seconds in or so until about a minute and 20 seconds in, something to that effect, 
that space you've decided after you viewed it, you don't like it anymore, you want it gone, and you've been able to figure out you know, a way to take that out without ruining your audio, you would find where you want to have the start of your new cut in the middle. Okay, so again, about a minute and nine, minute and 10 seconds. You can see here, this is clip one. The rest of your video here is clip two. Okay, you would click done. So now we're on clip two. So we're gonna hit that and now we're gonna trim it. So I had said that maybe, I don't know, around two minutes or so into it is when you would probably want to, something to that effect. You would go ahead and you would find where in your video you want to finish your trim, okay? So let's just say it's somewhere in there. All right, I wasn't totally off. I'm approximately two minutes in. All right, so now you've just lessened that. You would hit done. All right, so, and now you will have cut out what's in the middle that you don't want. And again, as you can see, I mean, things are, you know, things are getting shorter here, okay? So recap real quick. You want to trim, you click on the video, you hit the trim button, and you would trim the beginning and the end, or just the beginning, or just the end. You want to edit in the middle, you would click the video, you'd hit split, all right? And then you go ahead and you trim whatever it is at the start of the first part of that video. You would take the second part of that video, you would hit trim, and then you would Go ahead, drag the cursor to where you want to finish that, okay? And now you've got the two parts which will still make one video, and then you've still got this last one at the end, all right? So that in a nutshell, I hope I have made it clear, that is how you trim the beginning and the end of a video, and that is how you trim out the middle of a video. If you want to add text, okay, let's just go ahead and work on this one because I haven't haven't messed that one up yet. All right, what you would do, you'd hit that button, get out of there, and hit text. Okay, so what you would do is you would choose where in your video you want to have the text. Here you've got a layout, all right, so you can have it in the middle, on the top, on either side, bottom, that kind of thing. You would type out your text, so this is where I'd like some text okay and what you would do and as you can see here this is going to let you know about the duration of how long this text is going to play so if you have it on simple this is all kinds of stuff you want to keep where you're placing that text in mind okay because this white on white is not really going to show up so this is where you would start to look through you would choose a style. Again, guys, this is you're using a free program. So this is how you'd be able to get through that. You won't have a ton of choices, but you'll have enough to choose from. Okay. So you would go ahead and choose something that works best for you. I tend to actually like this one a lot. Okay. Because it's not too loud, but it stands out. All right. Maybe I would make it uh, a little bit shorter. Okay, something to that effect. This is always going to play your video, okay? And then these, these two decide what's playing, okay? What you've cut, where you've added something, and so on, okay? So if you're over in here, all right, this is what it would look like on top. This is what it would look like on the side, in the middle, on the other side, that kind of thing, okay? And this will take up the whole screen. So let's just say you're happy with that. You would hit done, okay? And then you can go through here and you can view it. You know, you could see like where, where it is. Right? Personally, I don't remember where I put it in this video. I think it was just the last few seconds. All right, but that is where you would see it. I'd love for you to be able to see where I did that. Hang on. Because this is such a short clip. Let's just do that. Okay. 
So if you go through, I'm actually hesitant to play the actual video because it'll probably echo, but as you can see here, you'd be able to see how long it's playing as you're watching the video. And then you'd be able to go back in, make edits and shorten it or lengthen it or replace it somewhere, whatever it is that you wanna do, okay? So that's it in a nutshell, guys. This is where you would be able to watch your finished product. You can certainly expand the screen. And when you're done with all of that, you would finish the entire video, okay? You do have the option to add background music or custom audio. I will go over that in another video, but for now, I think this is a good place to stop, okay? So again, just to recap, to make one video out of several videos, bring them in, place them here, make sure they're in order, finish the video. You wanna trim on either side, you hit it, okay, get out of there, you hit it, you trim, you follow the prompts I gave you to cut pieces off of the beginning or the end or both in one video. If you wanna split it, make sure that same video, whatever it is, is clicked. You would hit split, okay. You start the beginning of your trim, all right. Second part of your trim, you would go in and actually hit trim. All right. And move your cursor to where you want the end of that trim. And you would hit done. Okay. And I showed you how to put some text in. So again, guys, I hope this helps you out. Please let me know if you have any questions. Um, I love using free, free stuff. I love using free tools, especially when you're starting a new business or a new project, it always helps to know that you can go ahead and use something that is, you know, just built right into your computer. So let me know again if you have any questions or any comments or if this helped you. And I really hope you guys are staying safe and uplifted. So I said I'd leave the babbling to the end of the video and I just wanna say, I think this is a time that we can go ahead and choose our focus and choose to stay involved in more uplifting, more creative projects. If you're home, this is the time to think about what it is that you love to do, to take good care of yourself, and to find things that bring you joy, okay? This is a really, really great time for self-awareness, you know, thought-provoking conversations, questioning things, and definitely creating things, all right? And I hope that this little video helps you on your path to creating videos if that's what you were looking to do. All right, guys, I wish you a very good, safe time of things. Have a happy, safe April. And feel free, if you like this video, to subscribe to the channel. You know, hit the like button, all that stuff. It really helps. I do little tutorials teaching beginners how to do things, uh, whether it's with digital art or, in this case, you know, beginner's videos or doodly videos. And, um, that's just what I like to do. I like to take teach people how to go from I have no idea what I'm doing to, oh, wow, I can totally do this. So I hope this helped you out. Guys, stay safe. And until next time, take care.